Hello and welcome to another edition of Jesse Eats Food, although this time it's Jesse Drinks Drink, because we've got another drink, we've got a new drink in, and this one is a new beer. We've done beers before, we did the uh, Peroni Nastro Zero, the 0% Peroni Libera, which was very nice, but we have something fantastic and new indeed from Goose Island. We've got, well I'll get it from the fridge actually so you can see, it's this, the new Session IPA from Goose Island. I'll try and hold it up and the camera might focus on it. Um, this is, they call it Hail Hydro because it's grown hydroponically. All of the hops for this are grown vertically in giant sort of water-based farms. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, celebrate the superhuman efforts of our partner Aero Farms who is fighting climate change by growing hops indoors with no pesticides using their vertical farming for elevated resilience and flavor. Our latest Session IPA uses their hydroponically grown Cascade hops Hail Hydro. So there we are, a bit of a Marvel reference as well. If you're a fan of the Marvel movies, you'll get what they're referencing with those. So we've got the hot side, hop, hot side hops, cold and which are the T90 cascades, and then the cold side hops of the brewing process are the hydro cascades. So two different hops go into this. Um, gives it should give it a very light, almost citrusy body. So um, we'll find out as this is this is potentially what beers of the future could taste like. It is the future of farming, hydroponics, very low impact, very sort of carbon efficient, very green, good for the environment. So this could well be the beer of the future. So uh, yeah, hail hydro, and um, we'll get a glass to try this in, I suppose. And here it is, the Goose Island Hail Hydra in a Goose Island half pint glass. That's why it looks so small. It's not that I'm very big, although I'm quite tall. Anyway, moot point, what's the beer like? Mmm, that is fantastic. It is bright, it is not overly citrusy. You don't immediately notice the citrusy taste to it. It is distinctly beery. There is a beautiful hop to it. It's a very bright, very strong hop. And then you get the sort of the lemon, the almost orange come through. It is very refreshing in that regard. It's not too gassy either. There's, you wouldn't find it bloating. It's nicely sort of carbonated. It's sparkling, it's fresh. It sits on the tongue nicely. But yeah, you, you could. Mm. You could dangerously get through quite a few cans of those in a very short space of time. That is nice. That is, for me at least, a five out of five beer. That is fantastic. Normally I sign off these videos by going cheers, but I suppose for this one, for a comical effect, I want to go, hail Hydro. Cheers. <laughs> 